Hey everyone, I'm Northern Explorer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing an overview of the Bodie Lake State Forest Campground here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Bodie Lake State Forest Campground is located 31 miles northeast of Newberry just off of County Road 437. Follow County Road 500 north to the 437 junction. County Road 500 can sometimes be a bit rough and may not be suitable for all vehicles. The 12 self-check-in sites are available on a first come, first serve basis, no reservations. Several of the campsites are designated for tents. All other sites can accommodate tents or RVs, with site number 13 being a larger pull-through site. Cut to edit. There's a discrepancy in the number of campsites at this campground. The DNR website says 12 campsites, but I filmed sites number 13, 15, and 16, and I think there might even be a 17. If you go to this campground, write in the description below how many campsites there are, so that other people will know. Thanks. All campsites are fairly level and well shaded. Each campsite includes a picnic table and fire ring, vault toilets, a hand pump well, and garbage receptacles are available. The 306 acre Bodie Lake has a maximum depth of 48 feet. Game fish include northern pike, rock bass, sunfish, and walleye. A boat launch with its own small parking area is available. This boat launch does not include a dock. Carry-in boat access is available at some of the campsites. If Lake Superior is more your speed, Little Lake State Harbor is located just two and a half miles away. Bodie Lake Pathway is a leisurely one and a quarter mile long loop trail that passes through the campground. Keep an eye open for grouse and other wildlife. If more hiking is in order, the North Country Trail passes very close to this campground. If you have extra time, I would highly recommend a side trip to Crisp Point Lighthouse. Constructed in 1904 and standing 58 feet tall, this lighthouse helped guide ships until it was decommissioned in 1993. If you go here, please consider leaving a small donation to help with the upkeep of this historic property. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.